Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is my Space Pirates and Zombies 2 playthrough, and I am your host, Vastima. Today, I'll be continuing my playthrough of Midmax Games Space Pirates and Zombies 2. It's an RPG slash strategy slash resource management slash shipbuilder with space combat and zombies. So, let's get to it. Last time around saw the fall of the civilian ascendancy and we quickly rushed to snap up a whole bunch of their territories. But before we get on with the game, I would just like to mention that uh, a new patch is out for the game, 0.9.8, and it introduces a third map, a hundred sector map, and it also uh, introduces the... <laughs> God, what's it called? The Dark Cycle. <laughs> my god, my mind went blank there. The Dark Cycle. And basically that means once you defeat the zombies, you can have settings so that after a while they come back into the game. And that is awesome. Uh, I've been wanting something along those lines for quite a while. That way you defeat the zombies, you keep on fighting against the factions and then pop, um, they come back and you have to fight them all over again. Each time they come back, they also get stronger and stronger. So if you defeat six waves of them, they will just keep getting stronger every time. Um, so yeah, if you want pretty much an endless game, the Dark Cycle is the way to go. Uh, but that is neither here nor there for us today because we have our own plans for this playthrough. Now, having... Uh, uh, taken and assigned all these territories, I think it is time to get back to the original plan. Now we've got 1807 res. Ooh, this is bad. Okay, so the mining conglomerate want to build on this star base, which is one of the six that we want to take. So what I might do is do a hard burn over here. And hopefully I'll get there before uh, one of his captains will. Although, admittedly, I am going to use quite a bit of res getting over here. Um, so hopefully I'll make it in time. And in the meantime, I don't think you really need to see any of this. So I will be back shortly. So, here we are over at Derelict Port, and we have sort of made it in time. Uh, as you can see, a miner has, in fact, started construction on a base. So, if we hadn't done a full burn, uh, we wouldn't have made it in time. Okay, now, Casey Pins, the miner in question... Um, I have enough threat that I can actually scare him off. And to be honest, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a hit with him. And let's just zoom out so we can see what the effects will be with other members of his faction. No, nope, it looks like only he is upset with me. Either that or nobody else was close enough to notice what I did. So, I'm going to take that over as one of my star bases, and that's an engine, so let's go and have a quick look. See exactly how many engines we've got. We've got six, so that means we've completed two lots of three, and we are back to building a science base base. Now, <laughs> again, after so many playthroughs, I missed this simple yellow message up here. The type of starbase you choose to build will offend the faction that originally designed it. And how I miss that all this time, I don't know. But Sovereignty of Science is going to be slightly annoyed when I build one of their bases. Or one of their styles of bases. You know what I mean. Okay, let's see if... Wait, did that say four? That should say three. I must have forgotten to give out one of those new star bases to somebody. Well, there's nothing I can do now. Uh, oh, God, that was easy. Hans Trix is going to be given this base. But let us 
check with both the uh, miners conglomerate whose territory I just built a base next to okay still really good excellent in fact uh, what about the guy I just pissed off that's strange um, Casey Pins is still a really good friend? Who would have thunk it? Okay, so, uh, Sovereignty of Science, the Drifter, since I didn't actually check what his relationship was like with me before I built that base, I can't tell you one way or another uh, if it affected our relationship or not now. We're going to need some more money to build yet another base. And as I said previously, uh, the Bandit Hives, I've grown so strong that uh, they are no longer remotely a threat. Uh, primarily because... Wait, this one's got no strike craft whatsoever. Uh, primarily because Bandit Hives are a solo encounter. So apart from the one mothership... Uh, that shows up to help them uh, they can't actually get assistance from the higher level ships uh, i know it's intended so you can't take assistance in but later on in the game it actually uh hurts the bandit cause more than it hurts you um but i'm going to attack it and i'm going to cut it out i'm not even going to put it into the extra footage section because uh you've seen one and i've just gotten stronger and stronger um, so yeah, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. I'll be back in a sec. So there we have it, uh, another cache of goodies that's fallen into my hands. Uh, there is one, uh, I wouldn't call it a problem, but one thing I noticed fighting that, uh, bandit hive, and that's the fact that because the bandit hives have a heap of little drones, I noticed that my zappers were actually having trouble bringing down the shields of that uh, uh, bandit hive. So it actually leaves me wondering whether I may have to put ion bombers on this carrier after all. Well then again, maybe I just need a shitload of zappers. There's also one thing I wanted to check out. And yeah, sorry, I wasn't even thinking before. Yeah, the bandit hives don't show how many uh, strike craft they have, so I don't know what I was talking about before. Um, I'd like to feign tiredness, but I can't even do that because it's you know only halfway through the day. I'm just a moron. Let's just leave it at that. We all know that already. Um, so I need to... Well, I need to build these bases, but I also need to build these two. So I have a few choices. I can uh, go through here, knock out these pirate hives, build these two bases, and then come back the other way. Or, actually, there is no ore. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Only, oh, wait. I might do it the other way around. Um, might build the base and first i have to actually check how many noses we've got which i can do right here uh which i can't do here because i haven't connected them obviously you moron um noses five so the last in a group of three and we build militia for those ones so yeah, I've got to remember that uh, none of these bases are connected. So just in case that one's another wing. Mr. Sweet... Oh God. Cowardly sociopath. Opportunistic. Uh, lackey. Benevolent. So uh, doesn't want power in a faction, but I could disappoint him. Uh, Dingle Lord. That's weird. I thought I already gave Dingle Lord a base. Um... Obviously not. Well, Dingle Lord, you're, really yeah. you're pretty good yourself. Um, how much to build this next base? <gasps> Actually, I can build this other base right now. And it is a wing. So that was, I believe, the seventh wing, or will be once I connect it up. Yes. Wait, what? 
Okay, now I'm confused. I could have swore... Okay, now I'm really confused. You know what? I don't care anymore. You know what I am going to do? I'm just going to make all of these things exactly the same value uh, that the base itself is. Even though that doesn't really make any difference. That's what I'm going to do. Just because I'm losing track of everything now because I've got so many bases because this is such a large map. So I'm just going to make this a hunter base. And then I'm going to swing around. I'm going to take out these bandit hives. Uh, who are we going to put on? No, Robbie Klepto, Hannah Lipton. Ooh, cowardly, no, not good enough for a border. Loyal and bloodthirsty. Principal, you can have this base. And now I'm going to come up here. It's chockers, this one. 15,000. I'm not damaged. No. Okay, so I will get back to you once I have obliterated this bandit hive and stolen all their loot. So that's another bandit hive taken out and looted. And before we go back the other way and establish some more bases, um, what I might do is I might take out this bandit chief. He is level 59, threat 74. And since he is worth 5,494 experience, he will put us up to level 51. Now, one of the things we want to do is get to level 55. So that, ah, oh, damn, I was hoping another pirate would join us. Get to level 55, so hopefully we open up another core. At least I assume we will open up another core. Let's spin this around with my big unwieldy ship. And don't run into that. Oh, okay, run into the asteroid. Okay. And run into that other asteroid. We will concentrate all our zappers on this one little guy here. Oh, you're kidding me. Is there any other asteroids I can run into? No, only these little tiny ones. All good. What do we got? How... Okay, just pick on the closest guy, which is probably this guy, actually. Okay, let's speed away from these guys as fast as we can, because we do not want to be caught in all of their lasers and assorted other crap. Okay, it looks like that guy is about to move out of range. Let's pick on this guy next. Until we get some... Um, good weaponry to deal some good damage. All we can really do is slowly whittle them down and before they get away do some damage to their hull as well as just their shields. Let's let him get a little bit closer that way even when he does decide to run away we will be able to do a bit more damage to him. Is he running? Yeah, here he goes. He's running. Still a bit of damage this guy, come on up, is out of range of my sniper cannons. They might be called sniper cannons, but that's all about the accuracy, not about the range, unfortunately. Let's send the host of zappers to attack this little guy here. Unfortunately, I am out of capacitor juice, so we will recharge. We did take him out, by the way. Uh, we'll recharge and we'll spin back around and I'm guessing this guy is next to die. Everything go towards him and kill him. I probably should have checked to see just how many uh, strike craft this guy had. After all, it probably would have been a better plan to simply lure these away and then go and kill him. Uh, in fact, no matter what, I might start heading back towards him. Because otherwise, it's going to take forever once these strike craft are destroyed. Let's twist this way. And okay, excellent. Let's head back towards him as we take out these strike craft. Okay, we'll lay off the boost for a bit because we're nearly out of juice. Oi. Stop with that shotgun bullshit. Oop, he's a nice little weak one anyway. And how about you? 
send all the fighters after you. Sorry. Yeah, actually, I think... Are they called fighters or drones? Bloody... I wish they'd stop changing it. I'm just going to call every one of these little guys drones. And that way, when I stuff up and I call the strike craft strike fighters, it doesn't matter as much. So... It'll be defensive drones, zapper drones, uh, bomber drones, and ion bomber drones. And that's it. I'm sticking to it. Apart from the fact I'm a moron, which means I will stuff up within the next 10 minutes for sure. Let's try and take out this bandit chief. Of course, getting shields down with that amount of zappers is easy. But as we're about to find out, I doubt I'm going to do much damage with the zappers. However, my sniper cannons, once they... Wow, that's a lot of tiny little missiles coming in, but it's not going to help them out at all. Uh, my sniper cannons will do damage to this bandit chief once I uh, finish off all these strike craft. Let's go straight towards them. And come on, come on, just... Do the damage. Uh, don't run out of juice before you kill them. Okay, mission accomplished. Now we can recharge the capacitor. Let's just move away a bit. And capacitor is nearly recharged, so let's do a hard spin. If you're wondering how I do those tight spins, it's by pressing back and uh, left or right while boosting. Um, so yeah, you're not quite turning on the spot, but yeah, you, you're still doing a fairly hard turn. It's quicker than um, just pressing left or right and boosting. Um, and I mean, by quicker I mean uh, you don't have as much forward momentum. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I really do need to get a weapon that does damage to armor and health. If for no other reason that um, I doubt you guys. Thank you, ship computer. Stop interrupting my train of thought. We've established many times uh, that I can barely operate and talk at once because I'm a moron. I don't need to have to listen as well. And I've completely lost track of what I was going to say. Uh, yes, offensive armament other than these sniper cannons because you guys are going to get bored shitless watching me whittle down enemies before long. I am really tempted to get the plasma discharges, but the problem is they're just so ineffective against strike craft. Um, uh, I don't know. I do not know, but then again, if you think they're ineffective against strike craft, you should see bombers. They're forever missing strike craft. I am just tempted to get even more zappers, but no, nah, no, nah, that's just stupid. Okay. Mission accomplished. Bandit chief destroyed. You got any parts on you? I have no idea. I don't think so, because I'm fairly sure they glow red. And let's go back to the star map. Oh, I did get a mulch core, though. Let's just take everything there, and here we go. Uh, health, weapon damage, and reactor. Okay, weapon damage is already up one point. We might put the reactor up a point. Because that increases reload speed. Let's have a look. What's in the scavenge pile? Scrap, res, and goons. Not enough to justify wasting the time. Uh, level 42, threat 62. Well, I would go up another level just... Uh, again, not worth my time. I need to... Ooh, I still need to loot that bandit hive. And my god, they're pathetic. I'm guessing they came from one of those level 20 hives. So, what I will do is... Hey, Star Witch, you... Wow. I'm pitching you. Simple as that. I want you. I want you, babe. I want you, babe. Okay, so... Wow. Honestly, nobody has given you a star base? Fair enough. 
Oh, you are quite welcome. Welcome to my faction, in fact. The Clockwork... Clockwork Crew is a crap name for a faction. We've pretty much become the Clockwork Empire at this stage. Even if we do, you know, have this little exclave going on over here. But what we will do is we will loot this uh, Bandit Hive. He's not quite chockers yet, but we'll loot him. And I will be back in a second. So there's another pirate hive obliterated and looted. And that means I should have enough scrap to... Yep, I'll be able to build all three remaining star bases. There are only three left. Yes, there are only three. It would be rather embarrassing if there was more than three. Okay, so we'll head back this way. Let's just have a look. Yes, yes, yes. Looks like I have to zoom out. Um, let's have a look. We have a hell of a lot of territory down there we're eventually going to have to take. But at least for now, um, we will. So this one is going to be civilian. Yes. Even though I haven't ever built a civilian base in this game before. Like I said, we're just going to go with um, the bonus value for parts built at that particular base. Which is what those symbols are, if I haven't mentioned it before. Which is quite possible. You know how shit I am at ten Dishonorable. So Star Witch will pick on the weak. That's literally all that's wrong with her. Um, okay, well, there we go. Actually, how many spare people am I... Actually, Sovereignty of Science as well. How many spare people have they got? Well, they can uh, have up to 104 members, which means they've got 26 bases. But that, uh, they've only got 24 members. So that means every single one of these uh, captains should have a star base. Yes. Okay, let's now check and see whether Minus Conglomerate is in a similar situation. No. Uh, they can have 80 members, which means they've got 20 star bases, uh, but they have 34 members. So there are plenty of people I can steal from the Minus Conglomerate. And after I build these remaining two star, base, star bases, once I build these remaining two star bases, then I will indeed go on a poaching spree. Let's move over here. Still doing fine for Scrapperoonies and... Dogs Run. Build Starbase, another civilian one. In fact, I could build every base as a civilian one because I can't offend them anymore. Why can't I offend them? Because they're dead. Uh, Apache, Lackey, Benevolent, Switchboard, Aspera, mm, not too bad, Hannah Lipton, I really don't like that Cowardly, especially on the the front line, uh, Pissed Off, <laughs> I really love that name, uh, no, okay, so Queen Spectre, I thought I gave, no, no, we already discussed this, I still haven't given Queen Spectre a base. And that's right, I have one base more than I should. Here it is here. Blinding Frost. I should not own that base. Let's check out the zombie situation. Um, okay. So they haven't quite taken over all these territories yet, which is awesome. Uh, and it looks like the Void Militia is still playing back and forth with that territory, which again is awesome. Now, before I go attacking any bandit hives for cash or go into miners' conglomerate territory in a bid to... Let's just zoom in a bit more there so I can find out... Okay, this one was Chockers and Star Witch is going to raid it, which is awesome if she uses that cash to upgrade her base. Although it will be quite a while. And by quite a while, I mean it will be uh, left until after we obliterate the zombies, if we even can obliterate the zombies, before I go attacking other factions. Um, okay, so, I've rambled way long enough. We're going to run over to here and 
It's a shield, so we're going to make it a Void Militia style base. And I'm going to have a quick drink of water. Otherwise, I am going to lose the ability to speak. Now, Faction Militia. Excellent, we need to give it to somebody and it'll have to be somebody closer to the bottom of the list because we know the ones up the top suck. Um, mm, okay, I will give it to Simon. Nice, thank you. Let's have a look here. Okay, this one, this bandit hive is chockers, so on my way to mining conglomerate territory to steal some of their people. I might quickly come here and attack it. And of course, I have to be on the lookout for uh, really strong pirates because I really want to go all the way to level 55 as quickly as possible so we can get another two large parts squeezed onto our ship. But again, neither here nor there. Instead, we need to... Go and attack this place, and I will be back with you shortly. Well, that's another bunch of loot that has fallen into my possession, and I can't exactly complain about that, because that was the intention. Now, this bandit enforcer up here, he's not really worth me attacking. Ooh, Tiberius, can I recruit you? Yes, I can. Time to headhunt you. And join my faction, Tiberius. Oh damn, this one's full. Oh my god, and look at this guy. 7,000 experience. Another 7,000 experience. Oh, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to attack this guy, and I really hope this guy comes to help out. That would be awesome. Oh no, he's went all the way down here. I doubt he's going to come. Okay, let's fight this guy then. And I think that was the high level guy. I think I'm fighting two high level guys. That will be 14,000 experience if I'm right. Of course, that means that... The, oh, great. Infected signals as well. Okay, this could actually end badly then if those guys are such a high level. And of course, it's harder because my ship doesn't quite turn like it used to. Okay, let's just... Discretion is the better part of valor. Um, so let's just go this way. Get some separation. Holy fuckamoly, will you look at all that? There is just shit going on all over the place there. I don't know what's a zombie. I don't know. That would be cool if... Ah, oh, no. No. Now I'm, I'm just getting picky. I was going to say, it would be cool if you could tell... Um, if you were fighting two hostile factions at once, say, pirates and zombies. If you could tell which was which, but... Nah, now I'm just getting niggardly. Is that a word? No, I don't think so. I'm just making up words now. Wow, look at this! Look at this shit! So we've, or well, we haven't, but it uh, looks like the zombies have worn down a lot of the strike craft belonging to the motherships. In fact, at one point they had that mothership's shields all the way down. But let's uh, keep eating away at these strike craft. We're just going to calmly 
work our way around. Oh, Pulse is coming in. Just out of range. Um, we're going to work our way... That wasn't out of range. We, ooh, actually, we're going to recharge. We'll do a burn away from any incoming garbage. Just until I've got my capacitor back so that my shields recharge. There we go. And thankfully we have all those flat cannons. So they are excellent. Well, nowadays they're excellent at dealing with massive amounts of ordnance. Wasn't always the case. Once upon a time they could barely stop a single missile. Now, I am very tempted to go after, if not that mothership, the one on the far side. Okay, so we're still slowly chipping away. And that is one thing I've noticed. They're still purple. Are they just purple because... They're just so far out of my field of view? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Is this guy really, really strong or not? Hey, Mr. Pirate. And shields are coming down, but then again, I am firing a hell of a lot of Zapper drones. Well, not firing Zapper drones. Ordering Zapper drones to attack him. Okay, there, his shields are down. Let us see how much damage we do with a simple sniper cannon. If we can get the sniper cannon. No, we can't. We can't. We've. Whoa, we've made a big mistake there. In our curiosity. We have gotten way too close and got our shields popped and we're still taking tiny bits of damage which means we can't get our shields back. Come on take this guy out or drive him off, one or the other. Because he keeps stopping our shields from regenerating. Whoa, what am I doing? I'm not concentrating and I literally just went around in a circle. Oh, we have our shields back. So we took a bit of damage but... Not too much, not too much, and that guy is gone. Let's concentrate on this guy with the pulsar. And we've got plenty of power, so if we run into trouble, we can put power to shields. Stay away from those mass warheads, we do not. Our, our speed, even though our turn rate sucks, our speed is one of our major advantages. In fact, I would love to see how our speed measures up against the speed of some of those ridiculously fast zombie ships. Okay, excellent. Yep, yep. Actually, this one is far closer than it looks. Things may look closer than they seem in the mirror. And there we go. Whoops. And fire, 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 come on. Go, my pretties, fly. And not the best time for that to happen. But could have been worse. I could have been surrounded by about six of these little bastards. Okay, he's nearly done. And come on, come on, come on. Come on, sniper cannons. You can do it. Excellent. See, that's why I'm loath to strip the sniper cannons from a ship. While they're not exactly doing the sort of damage I would want, um, they are still very effective. They're very accurate and they do slowly do enough damage. It's one of the reasons I am strongly considering switching over to mass drivers because they've got the same level of accuracy, but they do a lot more damage. Okay, well, we're slowly whittling down all the strike craft. We've got one over here, one over there that's damaged, and a new one has spawned in, but I'm guessing the fact that we only got one spawned in then, uh, the other ship is out of strike craft, and that ship is almost out of strike craft. So, let's spin it around. Take care of this guy and spin it around. Oop. Now my defensive fighters are getting involved and at that point the enemy dies. Kill, kill, kill. 
that's another thing. I could turn this ship into like an assault carrier, uh, meant to close right next to the energy at uh, the energy. Yep, close next to the energy, close right up to the enemy, and hit him with my uh, defense fighters. But the problem is, if I'm not using a synergistic design, I'm simply not going to have the shields and health I need to pull off those tactics. And you all know how I feel about synergistic designs. So not really going to happen. But if I ever do relent, probably not in this playthrough, but I ever do relent and go for synergistic design, that would be maybe the sort of thing I would like to do. A massive amount of shields and just close uh, range attack. You know, Mac hammers, well early in the game shotguns, then Mac hammers, um, then anything with really short range that does a lot of damage or that's really inaccurate over medium ranges <clears throat> okay come on uh -huh. out of capacitor juice but missiles are being taken care of by the flak batteries quite well quite efficiently and now they've got me capacitors online I am once again doing actual damage to this ship. Once he starts losing parts, um, we should be good because every one of those parts is either a weapon or affects his maneuverability or of course uh, gives him shields or what have you. So once little bits and pieces start falling off, yeah, he's screwed. And considering I'm firing with both of my sniper cannons at once, we're all good. Okay. Come on, start, you know, losing bits. Lose lots of bits. Oops, let him get a little too close. Which is one of the problems with uh, driving at driving? Piloting? Yeah, piloting through the scope when you're heading the other way but that's why it says stern up the top okay let's transfer all of our zapper drones over to this guy knock down his shields okay so this guy's primarily a missile ship isn't he wow lots of missiles at that let's get within 750 then so our zappers can do their work there they go. And there goes his shields quite quickly being obliterated. And we're getting close to running out of energy, I think. Maybe he's getting damaged quicker than the bandit chief was before, which means he is a lot weaker. Okay, here come my zappers, returning to the hangars, but there we go, capacitors are back out, which means all my little drones are relaunching. Nope, no, he seems to be fairly durable. Well, one thing we could do about said durability is we're going to go backwards, and we want to see what sort of weapons, non-missile weapons he's got. So, regular micro blasters and um, micro emitters. Well, at this range, my defensive fighters will attack offensively, so he is losing all sorts of parts. And... Yeah, he's screwed. Now, if I was on a better angle, I could ram, but unfortunately, I'm not on a better angle, so no rams today. And with his capacitor gone, he can't recharge his shield. Over. That was a much longer battle than I was anticipating. I don't actually know if the infected asteroids made that battle shorter or longer, to be honest. But, there we go. Battle done. Back to the star map. And of course, because that battle took so much longer than I was expecting, um, we are most definitely out of time. However, we are now up to level 52, and we are going to put... Hmm, do we want more health? Six, six. Uh, wish 
One of those was either shield strength or... No, actually, I wish it was capacitor. Um, yeah, I better make it health because the other two are up to six already. Okay, we'll put it into health. And excellent capacitor, please. I went up three levels. Okay, so they were both of the, the really strong guys. Um, shield strength is up to six already. Uh, capacitor is still at five and weapon is already up six so I'll put it into capacitor again check the scavenge pile to a, not really at this point in the game enough to worry about god that's a lot of res that is sweet now let's have a look before we uh, well void militia is doing really well at uh, fighting uh, constant skirmishes against the zombies here. It looks like Zombie Alpha is having, excuse me, is having to re rebuild this base yet again. Um, and actually, the Zombie Alpha is stronger than last time I saw him. Last time he was level 65, 68. Can't remember the level, but he was 105. Now he's 316. Okay, so. He's going to rebuild this star base, and the Void Militia have put an incentive over this star base. So it's anyone's guess whether the Zombie Alpha or the Void Militia end up establishing a base there. Um, otherwise, the border with the Sun Hunters is stable, as it has been for a long time, and the Zombies are slowly taking, taken? taking over the former territories of the civilian ascendancy. And I think that covers it for today. Sadly, that's all I've got time for. Give me your thoughts down below and like and subscribe as you will. Until next time, take care of yourselves and most importantly, have a good one.